How are you going to react? How are you going to react? How are you going to react? Good, thought, depends on the mood I'm in. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 lottery winners who lost it all. You've matured. <laughs> Calm down. Yes. For this list, we'll be looking at individuals whose enormous luck didn't seem to extend beyond their big paydays. What would you do if you won the lottery? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Viv Nicholson It all began in 1961, when an impoverished miner's wife won the pools. While we all may crave enough money to never work again, many of us perhaps wouldn't know how to manage such an amount. In 1961, Keith Nicholson was lucky enough to win over £150,000 in UK football pools, equivalent to over £3 million when adjusted for inflation. Keith's wife Viv was naturally ecstatic with her newfound fortune, once saying in a press interview that she would spend, spend, spend. Would you say that your win has brought you happiness? Money creates problems, you know, as well as it creates everything else. And, mm. um... You've got to live with um you've got to live with everybody else. I have. I've got to please everybody else. And lavishly spend away their fortune is exactly what the couple did, so that in just a few years, all of it was gone. And what's worse, Keith tragically passed away not long after. It's never bought me any uh, happiness and I I read in the papers every so often that People win the lottery and they don't have happiness with it. Viv later co-wrote an autobiography appropriately titled Spend, 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 which inspired a musical of the same name. Number 9. Jack Whitaker While you have to be incredibly lucky to win the lottery, this man seemed to encounter the opposite after he claimed the American multi-state Powerball. Businessman Jack Whitaker won over $300 million in 2002, though he was already worth $17 million at the time. He then suffered tragedy after tragedy, however. Multiple family members suddenly died, his house went up in flames, and thieves robbed him several times. But Jack Whitaker believes that the blessing of his Powerball win had become a curse upon his family. He became buried in gambling debt too and long-term money problems. While he did pledge at least 10% of his winnings to charitable causes, it seems like it wasn't enough to weigh karma in his favor. Whitaker told ABC News in 07 that his wife wished that she had torn the ticket up. Well, I wish that we tore the ticket up too. Number eight, Michael Carroll. You know, maybe more money does mean more problems. But Mikey is an unusual millionaire. For a start, no one else on the rich list ever treated the press in the way that Mikey does. Michael Carroll was a 19-year-old part-time waste collector with a criminal record and no bank account when he won more than £9.7 million in the UK. He started off reasonably well, giving some to his family and investing a large chunk, hoping he could live off those investments. But then the self-proclaimed King of Chavs started partying it away. Not only that, but he got arrested on multiple occasions and people even threatened his family for ransom. Did you feel cursed? Mm, in a way, but that's a good curse and a bad curse, isn't it? Eight years went by and Carol reapplied for his old waste collector job, saying he had no regrets in regard to his winnings. Although, in the meantime, he'd been dubbed by the British press as the Lotto Lout. Number 7. Callie Rogers Money is a big responsibility to land on a 16-year-old's lap, as Callie Rogers learned very quickly. After winning over £1.8 million in 2003, one of the first things bought was a house so she could move out of her foster home. But then, the expenses started adding up. She spent money on body modifications, clothes, vacation, and around a quarter of a million on cocaine. She reportedly felt trapped, dating a string of gold-digging boyfriends and feeling forced to pay for others despite having lost most of her wealth. Time you don't realize, because you just want everybody to like you, so... She was also assaulted, and needless to say, she reached a very dark place. Rogers went on to campaign for the lottery age limit to be raised. Yeah, I think at 16 you're still just a child and you don't have any understanding of money and the concept of it and what it, the, what it brings with it as well. Number 6. Jim Hayes 
When you get used to such a large amount of money, you might just do anything to keep living that expensive lifestyle. Former security guard Jim Hayes won $19 million in 1998, allowing him to live his wildest dreams. But he later described the experience as a curse. Even though he asked to receive his jackpot in yearly installments, he began borrowing against advances of the deposits, burning through more than he had on luxuries and a divorce settlement. Ultimately, he started living in a garage and developed a drug addiction. Needing cash, he proceeded to rob several banks. In each heist, he would allegedly slip a note to the teller demanding cash and threatening to shoot if they did not comply. The FBI caught on to him, though, and he was then arrested and jailed. Number 5. John McGinnis All it takes is one bad investment. After winning £10 million in 1996, John McGinnis gave some to his family, bought a new house, and a few more luxuries. But the big blunder was just around the corner. McGinnis met ex-Celtic football club director Dominic Keane and shortly after invested his remaining fortune into one of his favorite soccer teams, Livingston FC. Keane was then taken to court, accused of tricking the lotto winner and another business partner into signing a fraudulent loan refinancing deal. But Keane was cleared in 2009, destroying any chances McGinnis had of getting his winnings back. McGinnis later said he found it hard to leave his house for fear of getting heckled as the man who lost the lot. Number 4. Denise Rossi Denise Rossi received some excellent news in 1996. Via a lotto pool at work, she had won a share of the jackpot, with hers alone amounting to $1.3 million. Now having won a fortune, she filed for divorce from her husband Thomas, 11 days after getting the news. They separated and went on with their lives. Until about two years later, when Thomas received a letter addressed to his ex which concerned her lotto payments. Thomas subsequently took her to court since he wasn't made aware of this during the divorce proceedings. As a result, the judge awarded the entire sum to him. Number 3. Evelyn Basor you gotta know that if someone can spend away an entire lottery jackpot, they can probably spend away two. In 1985, Evelyn Basehor struck gold twice in five months, winning roughly $5.4 million across two winning tickets. But with all that money, plenty of hands came wanting cash. Basehor reportedly gave much of it to her friends, but the other major money hole was her gambling habit. Slot machines in Atlantic City slowly drained the digits in her bank account. So much so that in 2000, it was reported she was still buying lotto tickets after she had moved into a New Jersey trailer park. Number 2. William Post The story of William Bud Post III is so dramatic, we're surprised there hasn't been a film made about it. In 1988, Post pawned a ring and gave the money to his landlady and his on-again, off-again girlfriend, Anne Karpik, to buy 40 lottery tickets, one of which was worth $16 million in the Pennsylvania lottery. Post then started collecting around half a million in annual payments, but reportedly spent even more than was coming in. His troubles worsened, though, when in 1989, Karpik sued him and was eventually awarded a third of his winnings. And then, his estranged brother hired a hitman to kill him for the inheritance. Post passed away in 2006, around $1 million in debt at the time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Janet Lee While many lottery winners like to spend lavishly, Janet Lee instead used her money philanthropically. Her educational and political donations saw her dining with the elite and maintaining a refined persona throughout the 1990s. But there was trouble brewing beneath the surface. While one could certainly do a lot with a $620,000 annual payout won via the Illinois lottery, it was the way she spent her money that was her downfall. She made most of her purchases, including her new house, on credit cards and loan plans. Even when she tried to pay her debts off early, she was crippled by early payoff penalties. 
Not only did she file for bankruptcy in 2001, $2.5 million in debt, but she also sold the rights for future lottery payments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.